What's on? This was a brand new video. And today we're doing is taking a look at this like ad and everything, and kind of breaking it down and kind of criticizing it because this type of video is really original. Right. This ad was popping up on YouTube or anything. I like looked at the ad and I thought, hey, this is really fucking stupid. Basically, what it is is kind of like a new browser app for like your iPhone or Android or anything. So let's hop right into this um painfully, painfully stupid ad. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm here to introduce you to Cake. You'll start to realize something through this ad that it's really awkward because like there's like let there's not many cuts inside the ad. Like it's really freaking awkward because there's like low volume music, but there's a long time before like a cut where she starts talking again. It's like this, it's like this really awkward like zoom in on her face. Cake is a revolutionary new mobile browser. You know, like Safari or Chrome. But better. This is probably a really conflicting statement in my opinion, but I don't really think there's anything better than Chrome. Am I the only one? Okay, let's go fuck myself. It's a desktop experience that's been crammed to fit on your phone. That is like me trying to put on my mascara with a toilet brush. One, that was like the worst freaking metaphor like in human history that you could have made. And two, don't you know that they have like a Google app for like iPhones and Androids that are meant to work on your phone? So this app is already deemed just Google 2.0 or like another basically Google app, but Google's better. Like when searching for something on the web, you have to page back just to look for something new. Or you could just go to your history. It's really not that difficult, like fucking seriously. Did you know that on a mobile browser, it takes 87% longer to get to your search results than it does on a desktop? No, no you didn't. That's why I'm here to tell you these things. You're, you're a fucking idiot. Because I'm not that interested into knowing how fucking long it takes for it to load on my phone. I don't think anyone would take time to research that. And also, if you're in a really good connection, and it doesn't really take that long to load. Now, if you're on the fucking desert, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it would take a long time. But if you're in a normal location, then it won't take that long. Then when you search, the magic comes with a swipe. What every guy on Tinder doesn't do when they see her profile picture. Was that a little too mean? Yeah, I'm sorry. Your search results preload, so swiping from one result to the next is a fast, dare I say delightful experience. What's so fucking delightful about swiping on an iPhone for your, like a search result? Nothing? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's the exact response I was wanting. Because swiping through results is fundamentally way better than looking at some boring list. Or some boring ad. Oh wait. This swiping experience is possible thanks to some fancy tech thing called index suppression. Only cake has it, and yes, it's patent pending. What the fuck is a shark tank? I don't give a shit if it's patent pending or not. You're talking about this all this like fancy mumbo jumbo that I don't give a shit about. Putting the fastest loading page on the screen first. It's kind of like a bunch of dudes all racing to get to my house to be the first one to watch me eat ice cream. It's kind of hot if you think about it. What the fuck is so hot about people watching me eat ice cream? That's not hot at all. That looks like that sounds like some form of weird fetish you'd find in like a really fucked up porn site. Giving you a bigger view of the web than a single search service would. That means more fail videos, more cat gifts, more breaking news, more fake news, and more comparing prices on the ostrich pillow. It's friggin' awesome and sometimes I just want to get away. Is this video fucking sponsored or something by Amazon's Ostrich Pillow? Another cool thing about Cake is just how customizable it is. Remember, you're the boss here. Customize your search types by reordering different search services. Like on image searches. Because my mother tongue is millennial, you know I gotta put Giphy front and center. 2018 sucks. Worried about data usage or ad blocking? You can control that. It's your browser. Okay, ad. Okay, I'll, I guess that's somewhat cool having ad block on a browser. I'm pretty sure that's something you know that app called Google can do. But you know, you, you, you know, we'll, we'll we'll let that slide. Cake even lets me cut through the clutter and choose the most relevant collections of websites for my search term. This is like no other browser you've ever seen. Not like not, not like that on Google at all, right? So do yourself a favor. Put, put a fucking bullet in your head because this app is 100% useless. Cake on your iPhone home dock. Oh wait, that's not what she was gonna say? Oh, okay. So yeah, that was the entire video. It was painful to watch or anything, but I'm pretty sure you got my points and everything as the video went on. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and everything. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you guys do want another one of these videos. And please, for the love of God, do not download this app. <laughs>